And we are Ed and Mel. And Wallace. And as you can see, Wallace's hair is starting to grow back. We're starting to get a little longer. He's getting He's fluffier. Getting fluffy. And this is a stage where he is super cute. I like it. So today's video, we are talking about what to expect when expecting a puppy. An old English sheepdog puppy. It's, yeah, I guess specifically an old specifically English. Specifically an old English sheepdog and puppy. And more specifically from a reputable breeder. When we got Farley Sprocket, he was the uh, only the sheepdog that we had before. Wallace. Our first one. He passed away. Bless his heart. Excellent dog. But anyway, when we got him, we did extensive research. Ed, First of all, we narrowed it down. Ed researched for nearly yes. a year. First, we narrowed down on what kind of dog we wanted. We settled on Old English Sheepdog, and then we narrowed it down to breeders, and we even looked at ones in the USA and Canada as we were in Winnipeg at the time. Correct. So, we did. We, we searched for a good year mm -hmm. on different breeders. We narrowed it down to, I believe, four. So then what happens when you did find a good breeder? Well, once we find them, we contacted them all and kind of had a little phone interview sort of thing, get to know us, and get with to pure, know them. And with purebred dogs, generally speaking, you do need to sign a contract, mm -hmm. pay a deposit, yada, 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 bing, yeah, bing, all that be. legal jazz. Yeah. That jazz is signed, your deposit is down. Um, you're gonna start getting some updates from the breeders. The day has come. And you're gonna you get, get the email that a whole says bunch of emails. all the information about when the puppy is flying and in. Flying out. So, because in our situation, well, Wallace's situation, yes. we were living in Texas at the time. So we got this email right here. Do, 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 do. From Air Canada. Right Wait, here. Right there, stating <sighm> that come pick Wallace up, cargo area. Yeah, yeah. Bing bang. Wallace is going to be shipped on this day. Be at the cargo area at the specific time. Yep. And your dog is going to be there. So. We go there. We at go that there. specific time. As you can see right here. Hey, puppy. You probably have to go for a pee. Hey, puppy. Lo and behold, we get there and we didn't have Homeland Security yes. check. So we had this form that we got from that place stating that we picked them up. But what we didn't have was the Department of Homeland Security checked. I don't, I don't even know. know what that Maybe is. Maybe he has drugs in his butt? I don't know. Don't Maybe know. he had to get But if he did, they were going to find out. Coming from a different country. So yeah. I had to jump in a vehicle and drive over about 10 minutes to the Homeland Security department homeland security department and they give you this saying this form that you can bring this dog into the country because it's coming from canada yeah man i'm so excited to see your new puppy we have seen him once and it's like 20 minutes of customs and now we're on our way back to see little wallace <laughs> wallace wallaby So meanwhile, then, meanwhile, Aaron is at, like on the other side of the airport. Meanwhile, me and Wallace and all of the people in the office, literally everyone stopped what they were yes. doing and we were all playing yes. with Wallace. Insert video really here. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Adorable. Oh <laughs> I said, I'm gonna be in trouble when I go home now. <laughs> You're so cute. Because uh, my six dogs know that I'm unfaithful now. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how they can know. <laughs> they, they always know. Okay, cool. Thanks. Go. Yeah, it's good to go. Okay. 
Yeah. He's running around, had another pee, and now he's good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, grab the. Oh, oh, you need to turn around and come back again. Okay. All right. Here. Yeah, let him go. Come on. Just stop all the office. Okay. I'm one of those people. Oh. Bye. He's like lazy now. Hey, you don't want to get up? Let me get over there so he can know. There, take a picture there. Come on. Uh, come on. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> it was really cute. Yes, yeah, it was amazing. Wallace was a so, cute puppy. So after this about two hour event of me running there, running back, uh -huh. waiting for everything to get processed. It was a long time. Yes, it was a good two hours. We finally left. They were actually super sad that when they see they Wallace were, go, they were because we all bonded. They were literally like, like waving at the door as we drove off. Yeah. Um, so and then first, first stop a park. So that what we thought yes. we figured this little guy had to pee because he hadn't been outside yet. Yes. Insert video here of us running around for the first time. And if you're wondering, the green stuff on his ear is ink yeah. from a newly tattoo at registered, from registered tattoo. dogs. Have you probably can't see it, but it's right here. To identify them of their registered breed number, their CKC registration. So anyway, so you get emails, we got all the paperwork, paperwork so we got Wallace. Go to Home of Security. So remember next time that when you're going into Canada, to get your breeder to have Air Canada or whatever flight information they have so you can do this prior to go and pick up your puppy. Anyway. Make sure Homeland Security you have this paperwork before you go to the airport to go to the cargo area. And another thing is, do not go to the airport, go to the cargo area. True. Don't go to the airport. We did that with our first OES. Yes. yes. So Wallace obviously came in a crate. We have yes. a loose crate right here. So this is the kind of crate you're going to get. This is loose, yes. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, like five times bigger yes. for Wallace. Um, he does come in a crate, which is super great, but he grows out of it super quickly. So we advise you getting a crate fitted for yes. 80 to 100 pounds because that's how yeah. big So you're going to need a large... You need a large, to extra large crate, um, depending if you have a female or male. I believe a female could probably fit in a large, but... He also comes with this really cute, um, your dog's ooh, health ooh, passport. Ooh. Um, basically, it's the one shot that he gets, because he's a puppy, before... Yeah. So just to show, to show that he has been vet checked, and he is healthy. Alright. And then you're going to get a folder of some sort or a Ooh, stack of papers. It's usually full of a ton of information, yeah. like how much to feed, so, yes. vet exercise. It was just say, Old English Sheepdog, what kind of environment they like, a uh, ton their of stuff. temperament. A ton, a ton of information. You also get their certification. So yes, Wallace is a Canadian Kennel Club registered dog. And also, and also, you're gonna get which is really, really neat. Their whole lineage. Their lineage. whole lineage. Yeah. So Wallace is from a very healthy line of old English sheepdogs. Very line. impressive. Disease free. And, and he is an awesome dog. We have only the best things to say about Tassia Hills, as you can say. We we're on dog number two, and we would probably only ever get yes. uh, old English from. Tassie Hills. Joy Griffith is absolutely amazing. 
-hmm. Definitely give her a call. And we are not being sponsored by her. We're just, we're always amazed by what kind of dog we have. Yes. But anywho, Wallace really wants to go for a rollerblade. So, so that's what you can expect when you're expecting a small bundle of joy. A small OES bundle of joy. An old English sheepdog yes. bundle of Because they puppies. are, they will melt your heart when they're a puppy. Insert clips here. Insert clip here. Oh. It is amazing. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any, if you have any comments, questions, post them below. Oh, please do post them below. We love mm -hmm. answering them. We love them. We love the video. We love the comments. We love reading them. We love answering them. And also, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We um, appreciate it. But we gotta go for rollerblades. So until, so until next, next time. time bye. bye.